We are here. We have arrived. It's hour five of the Fantasy Football Marathon. Adam Schefter's in the corner chugging coffee. Matthew Berry, not this one, the other one, the fantasy expert. He's down on the ground doing push-ups. We're doing everything we can to stay awake. He seems very poised tonight. Yeah. Look, it's been fun, right? We just talked fantasy football all night. We're, we're, we're in hour number there. Uh, DJ Rob Swift. Yes. On the turntables yes, tonight. Yes, yes. What do you guys spend it for? We got Bell back. Oh. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm Look, happy. There are some football analysts in yeah. studio who mm -hmm. think that taking Le'Veon Bell is a bad idea. I don't think it's a bad idea. He's rested. He has He's resting. I like that you use the word rest. rest, where a lot of so us he's here, be fresh, you we know? say rust around here. No, rest no, or no, rust no, 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 no. He's going yeah. to ring bells. That yeah, works. Yeah, I, I, see, yeah, I see what you did. Yeah. I see what you did here. I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. And you guys, we're unifying here. Look, we got Jets, yes. Giants, yes. DJ, Rob Swift in yeah, the building, uh, spinning. And we got Victor Cruz here. We got Victor Cruz uh, in the building, the chilling for the next two hours. Probably got some wide receiver talk uh, on deck. Were you guys already friends before 30 seconds ago? No, no. We, we buried the hatchet. Okay. Yeah, I saw the desk hat. I saw the, the you know the, the memorabilia he's got going on. But I buried the hatchet. It's yeah. all good. Otherwise, we gave each other some dabs. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Cool. Otherwise, it'd be a, a very awkward uh, next two hours. All right, fellas, I'm gonna keep it rolling because you know who throws to the receivers? Our quarterbacks on deck. Oh yeah, we got the mascots too. I can't just yeah, blow by that. Check it out. Come on. All right, yeah. That, that was very, very rude of me. Uh, resident quarterbacks, Anita Marks, Tim Hasselbeck in the bill. Listen, don't stop doing just because I'm here. No, no, well, we're, uh, here we go. Go ahead, I'm just feeding Actually, Anita. Actually, I just, I want to throw a real pass to Victor Cruz. Oh yeah, where's he at? Rather... Oh, he's sitting down. I'm ready, I'm always ready. Money! Oh, and you can laser probably, you can probably kick him out of this game better than practicing, you know? Just there throwing lasers. If there's a mountain in this studio, she could probably throw it over them, too. Uh, <laughs> quarterbacks, wide right off top. We're actually about to get into that. I'm sure Aaron Rodgers will be a topic of discussion. Uh, he will. And, Patrick uh, Mahomes. <laughs> rolling rolling with my homies. Who, that guy? Oh, the MVP. Let's go talk about it. Come on. <laughs> We're going to make this thing formal. We're going to take our seats on these leather-bound sofas. I don't know if it's real leather or faux leather, but it's something I probably couldn't afford. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, wow. That's got some real cushion. Uh, right off top, biggest storyline heading into the 2019 fantasy NFL season is... My biggest storyline? I'm with DJ Rob for my biggest storyline. See, see his jersey? Can we, get, can we get him? Can we see his jersey? jersey. Le'Veon Bell. I threw a little no. wrinkle to the... Yeah, there we go. Can we go. see it? No. It's about Le'Veon Bell. DJ yeah. Rob knows what's up. I yeah, mean, look, this reminder. guy would have been the number one overall pick in fantasy a year ago had he played. I mean, that's that's how productive and versatile he is. Sometimes we just forget about guys, you know, all of a sudden they, you know, whatever, a holdout or an injury, forget how good somebody was. Probably the most vers versatile player in the game in terms of what he can do as a receiver, how good he is as a runner. I think it's a pretty talented team. You think he's got a good, uh, you know, a good scheme to play in under Adam Gase there. So I actually think that Le'Veon Bell is a guy, you know, who, People can somewhat forget about it. You're right, Saquon's probably going to be the first pick in almost every draft, but Le'Veon Bell could end up having a better year. DJ Rob, you going with him first overall if you got that first overall pick? Take your Jets allegiance out of the question. Yeah, I'll go with him first. He's well-rested. He has a year of... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, he's he's well-rested. Well I, like I like it. He's going to rock bells. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go with him the first round. Okay, very cool. Well, I, I mean, because I, I think that's the hesitation, right? Is that you say, well, uh, he's, he's well-rested. Well well mm -hmm. And then the other side of the coin is, is he rusted? Is he rusted? How long is it going to take... Not for him to. Well, well, here's the thing. I think that I'm Tim, by the way. Yeah. We'll get to know each other the two hours around the TV together. Here's the deal. There's, you guys. He's a running back. There's a. I, I think it, that's a position that I'm less concerned about a guy missing time. Like a running back holding out, I'm not really that worried about it. You know, like missing a year, he probably feels pretty good. Le'Veon Bell's a guy that works out hard. I, I don't think that. I think if there's any rust, it's just going to be the fact that. He's with a new team. There's going to be a little bit of adjustment in terms of that, you know, new players. His running style is a little bit different. Um, but I would expect him, he, he's one of the best players in the league. I expect him to have a great, a, a monster year. And the happiest person to see him back in the backfield is Sam Donald going into a sophomore mm -hmm. campaign saying, thank God this is going to allow me to develop as a quarterback, as a signal caller, and I'm going to be able to dump things off to you. But we're not saying Donald is one of 
on auto draft. Like, come on, man. Like, let, let's get it together. Don't hold everybody else up. Make sure that Wi-Fi is tight and right. Okay? Don't be a Nikum poop. And if you don't have Wi-Fi, go hardwire. Uh, I mean, something. DJ, in the booth, any rules to follow when you're drafting a team or when you're spinning at the club and some fool comes to you requesting usher at 1.30? <laughs> well, number one rule when you're DJing at the club is don't take requests, especially if they're bad ones. Make sure that they trust you, man. Yeah, Everyone I was the, you like, you know. I was the guy at 130 asking for yeah, pressure. That's yeah. why I asked. <laughs> that, that could get annoying. But um, as far as drafting, man, I just say first round draft a running back that could do it all. Catch, run, you know, multi-purpose running back. Sounds like he's talking about DJ. We get it. We get it. You like Levi? Yeah, well, sounds like hey, he's talking it. about somebody. <laughs> we get it, uh, Carl. First rule, get a bigger plate if you're yeah. going to get that much food. Second rule, oh, as it relates I am very, to I'm, fantasy. I'm a fan. You guys are doing well. Okay, thank you. But that's not a rule. Uh, What's the rule, fantasy? Yeah, give us a rule. Uh, Wi-Fi. No one said that yet. Oh, yeah, that's that's correct. That's actually that's <laughs> profound. <laughs> uh, my rule is no one has said it. be a patriot. Listen, you might love them, you might hate them, but they will produce for you. They're not sexy, but they will get you points. All right, ESPN.com slash FFL. I promise you I wasn't going to stop saying it or hit us on the ESPN Fantasy app. We will be right back. Anita just made another one. You're watching Sports Center Special Fantasy Football Rankings. As promised, we're back. And as promised, uh, DJ in the building, spinning. We got Buster, brackets, hasn't hit me yet. The night is still kind of young. Uh, I'm back with Chef Carl. Chef, real quick, plug the Instagram. Plug uh, the Instagram. Sabor Chef on Instagram. S-A-B-O-R Chef. I thought it was Saber. It was like the Office episode. Whatever. I didn't, I didn't say uh, it. Listen, as promised, for 115 bucks, right. you can have this spread. Right. The one thing I can't promise you is that it'll taste like this unless your commissioner right. is a trained professional. So right. take us down this list. The crew's waiting for the goods down there. So, so we'll 115 start right here. bucks. The only thing, I, I almost use zero percent chef skills with this. Oh, I'm cool. very excited. <laughs> the culmination of this year's Fantasy Football Marathon, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. You do not want to miss it. Make sure you sign up to ESPN.com slash FFL or just hit us up on the ESPN Fantasy app. My bosses say if we hit a million, I get a bonus. Please, please help me. I have a dog. She needs to eat. All right, it's time. We know that every great home, building, and trophy starts with a fantastic foundation. That's exactly what is set up over on those tables and all of the accoutrements, if you will, for any fantasy football trophy are spread out right here. We had a nice budget. We went to Bed Bath & Beyond. That's right. We got pylons, yarn. Vic, I know you got your eye on this. Mm. So pretty much, I'm going to ask three questions. The correct answer, take your pick, start building your trophy. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. First question. Do it. How many quarterbacks in NFL history have passed for 4,000 yards and rushed for 500 yards in a season? Just looking for the amount of quarterbacks. Three. Four. Anita, did you say three? Yes. Ding, ding, ding. Please take your pick. I get. Uh, the by the pick, way. And one thing I get to pick up. No, no, you, no, you one. pick you the right one. The dinosaur on this thing is incredible. Uh, Cam Newton in 2011 is rookie year. Russell Wilson 2015. And Deshaun Watson in 2018. Here we go. Next question. Tom Brady has thrown the most career touchdowns to tight ends. Which active quarterback is second on that list? Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrew you can, Love. You can keep guessing. You Drew Brees. Drew Brees. Boom. God. Wow. Vic, you shouldn't have a second Man. Guess. You had it. Uh, Drew Brees, 137 touchdowns to tight ends. What did you take? I'm seeing a horse theme here. As a unicorn, <laughs> it'd be hard to utilize both of those things. Oh, very, just watch. Very short arms. I don't know if it's the right plan. choice. Uh, trivia question. Sir, um, which team accounted for the most rushing touchdowns last season? Ravens. Uh, Cleveland Browns, New York Giants. Saints. Um, Saints. I like your technique, though. <laughs> like, yeah, Somebody's got to hit it. One to 32. Just, just keep hitting. I By mean. the way, the Saints rush for 26 of them. Alaquan, Mark Ingram, now. Solid choice. What is that? Is that I don't even know if this is going to be helpful Solid or not. Choice. Is this, is this a good choice? choice? Basically, take your spots now behind the table. There's apparently rules to this. That's right. We're abiding by rules at 145 Eastern Time. Um, so we have our toilet paper holders, but soon to be trophies. Uh, we have 90 seconds, excuse me, two minutes on the clock. That's my bad. You guys come here. It's a free-for-all. Make your best trophy free and fall. go. 
Nope. He's snagging there. Please take the, someone take yep. a pylon. Just take the gear. Thank you! <laughs> no, one, no one wants to take the top pick. I know you were looking at this. Take the taco. Yeah, good. After that taco, please. Taco. Wait a second, are you, you, the judge helping him? This is incredible. An entire bag of flowers. Man. You go to Home Goods, you're paying money for that. I mean, my presentation skill, Carl, I'm not sure. I might need DJ, some DJ, I'm going to need some help in assessing the trophies, please. Carl's still here. He's, oh, how do you leave he, this out? He's taking a look. Ammo, bro? Some winner trophies, some loser trophies. We got under 90 fun. seconds on the clock. Everybody has scissors and tape. We got camo. That's my favorite What's color. What's going on here? Oh. Like this. I might keep this. It's a camo. Dude, that's I mean, incredible because you, you actually you have a light up feature. Exactly. I haven't even used any tape yet. You know? Like just natural. Anita's is looking pretty good. Are you sure about because you got a bad position. Come on over. I like I like Anita. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good about mine as <laughs> <laughs> Dick, what you got going on here? I have no idea, sir. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going with the flow here. Yeah. You got 45 seconds. That's got me covered here. It's fancy. The tough yeah. part about this is camo, so I don't even know if you guys can see it. I'm not sure where I can put the baby teeth. Well, I, mean, I am a little exposed right there. I need to scrub this. Want to cover it up here? Right, I'm gonna cover it up. You see? Oh wow, the gold Where's ribbon. The flower. Where's my scissors? Safety covers on there. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna help you. in the mouth, I get it. Yeah, you got, got 15 ball. seconds. You got 15 seconds. Yeah, I know that's the look you're going for right there. Mr. Cruz, this is a this is a model of someone getting her hair done. Yeah, I think so. All those Three, years of watching my mom in the salon two, paying off. One. Yeah. Stop the decorations. Oh. The Every amount of glitter I got on Need myself, like I, I better have won. <laughs> Man, that's pretty. Tight. DJ Not Rob, Carl, I'm gonna need you guys front and center, please. We got some grading to do. This is gonna be a little bit tough. You said you like the neatest trophy. It is this pretty creative. Uh, okay. Well, you gotta go on the wrong side, though. You gotta look at it from this side. That's really? one. Like a dog. I'm liking the camo. I'm liking the camo. No, I yeah. appreciate the camo. That was my idea. Cam Thanks, camo is nice, but, but I'm gonna have no disrespect. But I'm gonna have to go with Anita. He gave you. He didn't even give you. I mean, he even look at the front of it. Yeah, nah, this is just. He didn't even look at the front of it. This is my guy. All over the place. I got a light up feature. I mean, I don't understand this. I don't have any tape. Not even a single speck of tape. This is a house of cards. If you touch this, this will crumble. Come on, what you got? I mean, um, this camo. I like the brain. The brain one is good. Camo looking good. The exposed brain one is good. He wants to emphasize the camo. Right. In case you didn't see it. Camo's nice, and I'm yeah. Cuban, so the gold is perfect. Okay. There we go. I didn't know there was um, a correlation there, but yeah. I followed We like it. anything gold. Anything okay. Gold. This is, um, this looks like, uh... This is creative. This is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh... <laughs> I like this one because it looks like a person. Okay. And a pineapple. Who the hell are and you And pineapples look with? like people. <laughs> okay. So we got a split feature. decision. So I like this one, and he likes this one. Okay, so... Ah. Tim Hasselbeck, the winner of the <laughs> trophy. I need no disrespect. <laughs> this has a light up feature. Yeah, light up feature. Better. People pay yeah, thousands really of dollars. And by the way, the amount of this is a football show. This is a fantasy football show. Yes, we need right. some type right. of football component. Right. 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 No tape. No tape, not a speck The only tape. reason Chef chose this is That's because there's a food, <laughs> food and a rich football And a rich it. rookie football player would probably buy this for a thousand dollars. I need to look at the uh, 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 structural uh, integrity. It passed. Oh, it's solid. Don't worry about it's it. It'll pass 980,000 draft That's a big win right there And for me. counting as closing in on <laughs> two o'clock in the morning. The light-up feature for the East Coast. Wow, Tim Hasselbeck is loving life right now. The trophy design. What's going on here? Winner. Do I get to keep it? You're watching Sports Center Special Fantasy Football Rankings. Fine, Field, we get it. Somebody owes you some money. Pay your dues. Uh, that's some good fantasy advice. As we start to close out the show, uh, let's continue with the fantasy advice. Tim, what you got? Listen, I'd start off by saying, like, if you get eliminated from the postseason, 
like still set your lineup. Like you, you didn't be leave, like leaving Fantasy guys. Etiquette. Yeah, I mean, like just do the right thing. Like don't bail because the season's not going your way. Like like play it out. Don't be that guy that's got like like three guys on bye week that are still in the lineup. So easy to say in August though. It is, Everyone's it is. salty in November it when is, they're like, what? Well, I'm being but, but, but that's exactly. that's where I'm on that. I always yeah. tell people when when you're playing fantasy, you got to leave your heart at the door. Like for example, with you. Oh. You, task. You, you can't draft Tom Brady. You just, I, I mean, not in the first round. Okay. I mean, so you just, I, I know there's fandom out there. And, you know, if, if, if you're a Giants fan, you want Saquon Barkley really bad. Maybe you're going to reach for Sterling Shepard. Don't do it. Draft wisely. Leave your heart at the door if you want to really win. Uh, the biggest thing for me is just have fun. Like, when you're doing these live drafts, you got your friends all around in the room, heckle each other, banter each other, nudge their laptops. Hit them off of the laugh. Whatever you want to do, have I'm fun. I'm not drafting with you. Have fun <laughs> and draft wise. That got personal quick. <laughs> have fun. Break <laughs> their computer. Yeah. Not fun right. computer. Whatever Slash their tire. Somebody takes your pick that you were planning on picking later. Flip the laugh. Plan B. Have one of those. Uh, Carl, DJ, got any? Uh, play good music. Yeah. Oh, DJ yeah, Swift. Like go. DJ. Not taking requests, but you yeah. can hit him up. I'm, yeah, sure, I'm sure on social. What's up, Chef Carl? You got one? Uh, don't order pineapple pizza. It's awful. Okay, that's <laughs> different kind of fantasy we're talking about. I'm talking okay. fantasy. Sorry, I was, I was somewhere else. <laughs> you're I'm a Giants guy. On the you're going to be Terrible. the kind of guy uh, to draft right. with his heart. Because yeah. you're a Giants guy. I am a Giants guy. You used guy. to cook for Jeremy Shockey. I did. You saw some cool stuff. Oh, boy. We don't want to talk about that. We can't talk about it, <laughs> even though it's 2 o'clock uh, on the East Coast here. Any parting words from the panel of experts? Uh, don't play Anita in cornhole. Uh, start with that. And... Um, and, and don't down jalapenos all by your. Uh, <laughs> I still tell me. Absolutely, it's okay. Jeez. Incredible palate. I'm going with him. Don't play Anita in cornhole. It's my first time tailgating. It's my first time even playing cornhole. And she blew me out of the water. Okay? And don't eat raw jalapenos unless you're a trained professional or a man dressing as an app. Anita, do you got any uh, tidbits? Uh, for all you commissioners out there, don't have your draft. Of course, you only want it on ESPN, but don't host your draft until after week three of the preseason because starters will probably play three quarters and they might get hurt. So, no Anita's drafts so until mad at me. I have a draft on Wednesday. And that's so wrong. I'm going home. I'm My so friends are doing levels. it for me. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We got plenty more to get to. A best oh. of. And Matthew Berry and the crew up next with the Fantasy Show. Woo! You're watching the ESPN Fantasy Football Marathon.